What's going on, squad? We got a little bit of a conundrum. Now, as you last saw in our last video, we sold the van. And now we're a little bit of a conundrum. Why are we a conundrum? Because now we have nowhere to stay and we have two half marathons and a week and a half of camping to do on the road. So, welcome back to another episode of Easy Living Street. Let's go. So now, we gotta figure out how to make the bed of our truck into a camper. We leave in like two days, three days. So we got today and like maybe a little bit tomorrow after work. So yeah, let's go. All right, we gotta check what we currently have in inventory before we go do a Lowe's trip. It's gonna be a pretty simple truck build. The construction zone. Well, my construction zone. <laughs> All right. We don't need much, but we just gotta see what we have before we go get it and do a little bit of measuring. Two four by eight sheets, and let's measure real quick. I want the two by eight to come up essentially kind of flush with this after the half inch sheet is down the floor and the half sheet is on top. We want that to be essentially flush and over the wheel well. That's kind of what we're going for. All right, we got the truck bed. We gotta get flipped into a camper bed because we sold our van. And then we get to hit the road because we're going to Elizabethton, Tennessee for a half marathon. And then the very next weekend, we're going to Traverse City for a half marathon. Looking forward to it, but it's, lots, it's a lot of traveling. We were going to take my motorcycle uh, kind of in like a caravan manner with like the truck and the motorcycle, but my motorcycle actually has a Recently discovered nail hole, so I need a new, new tire, sad. But this is a new evolution of camping, which is kind of cool. Get to see how things go. Uh, and then eventually get a camper, because that is still the end goal, but until we're able to kind of, I don't know, buckle down and do it. We're, we'll maintain with this and have fun doing so. And you'll get to see some of it along the way. If you didn't see our last video where we sold the van, check that out. Take a minute, go back and see it. Give you kind of more uh, understanding for what you're watching here. Shout out Colleen. Shout out Colleen. I don't know what her... What's her travel thing? The Wonder Journal or Wonderlust. Wonderluster Journal. Now, we're just going to Lowe's, get some stuff, and then put some stuff together and see how it goes. Getting the template coat is like one of the more tedious things. So once you get it back tight, you can just kind of do this side and that side, and it's more or less. Yeah, keep going. It's just kind of getting to that point. But the moral of this story is there's just enough to do it that you do it. So now we're going to cut the baseboard, we'll leave it at four feet wide for right now, and then bring it down to six and a half feet. And then we'll cut this template in it and see if it slides in. At that point it should.
about the feathering technique. You don't know you won't. Look at that, folks. to watch a half marathon event because that's the next episode. That's the next two episodes. Intermix with some uh, truck bed camping.